हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर लक्ष्मी चौहान जे आर टू डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ रेडियो डायग्नोसिस इन डॉक्टर डी वाई पाटिल यूनिवर्सिटी स्कूल ऑफ मेडिसिन नवी मुंबई टुडे आई एम हियर टू प्रेजेंट ऑन एंटीनेटल अप्रोच टू स्केलेटल डिस्प्लेसिया एम इज टू कंडक्ट स्टेप बाय स्टेप अप्रोच इन अस्पेक्टेड केस ऑफ एंटीनेटल स्केलेटल डिस्प्लेसिया Skeletal dysplasia, also known as osteochondral dysplasias, are a large heterogeneous group of disorders consisting of skeletal abnormalities. The primary etiology is genetic mutation, which usually begins at an early stage of the fetal development and continues to evolve throughout the life. According to Nosology Committee of Na- International Skeletal Dysplasia. study the latest in the 10th version of nosology compri- comprises 461 uh, different diseases which are further divided into 42 uh, groups uh, 42 groups based on their clinical radio uh, radiological and uh, molecular phenotype fetal skeletal dysplasias are difficult to diagnose in utero due to numerous factors including a large number of skeletal dysplasia and their phenotypic variability with overlapping features absence of precise molecular diagnosis and systemic approach for many disorders in uh, efficacy in efficacy of ultrasound to provide uh, an uh, an integrated view variability of time at which finding manifest in some skeletal dysplasias their overall prevalence has been reported to be 2.3 to 7.6 per 10000 birth in various studies method a 32 year old g3 p2 l1 came for an anomaly scan g logic P9 R3 ultrasound machine with curvilinear probe was used step by step uh, anatomic fetal anatomical survey was done in first gravid of the findings were similar as the current case which was aborted and no tests were done second gravida was normal on anatomical survey of the third gravida following findings were seen here we can see the stippling of the femoral epiphysis these arrows green arrows are representing stippling of femoral epiphysis stippling means uh, focal bony calcifications which appear dot like here we can see the depressed nasal bridge which is known as saddle nose saddle nose means uh, a collapse of the nasal bo- nasal bridge with decrease in the nasal height Uh, uh the in this case there was increased fronto nasal uh, angle which was 151 degree the normal uh, fronto nasal angle uh, in uh, uh, in 14 to 39 weeks of gestation is 126 plus minus 7 degrees uh, however in this case the nasal bone length was normal here we can see the flat face the other findings were polyhydramnios the upper limb lower uh, and rest of the lower limbs were normal thorax pelvis spine uh, hand foot skull all were normal the above positive findings were suspicious of skeletal dysplasia the patient was advised for further evaluation with amniocentesis exome sequence In a suspected case of skeletal dysplasia on antenatal scan a detailed evaluation of skeletal system needs to be performed the following points needs to be evaluated in upper and lower limbs the length of the long bones absence malformation hypoplasia which are rhizomelia mesomelia rhizomesomelia acromelia should be looked for curvature degree and the mineralization uh, uh, curve uh, mineralization of the bone and fracture should be uh, looked for femur length and uh, femur foot length ratio uh, should be normal which is 1 if it is less than 1 it is suggestive of skeletal dysplasia 
in thorax we have to look for markers of pulmonary hypoplasia some of these are chest circumference less than 5th percentile chest uh, abdo circumference ratio less than 5th percentile chest trunk length ratio less than 0.2 and femoral length uh, and uh, abdominal circumference ratio less than 0.16 uh, we sh we have to look for cleidocranial uh, dysplasia which is absence or hypoplastic clavicle uh, camptomalic dysplasia which is absence uh, absent uh, scapula in hands and feet we have to look for uh, polydictyle syndictyle and clinodictyle others include uh, club feet hand rocker uh, rocker bottom feet etc uh, in pelvis, uh, achondroplasia, limb pelvic hypoplasia, femoral hypoplasia, unusual feces syndrome should be ruled out. <coughs> in skull, uh, head circumference and biparatal diameter are, need, uh, are to be uh, looked upon to exclude uh, macrocephaly. Uh, head circumference is to... Um, Abdominal circumference ratio, shape, mineralization, degree of ossification, interorbital distance to exclude hyper and hypotellurism, brachycephaly, uh, scapo, uh, scaposcephaly, craniosyntosis should be ruled out. Others include macrognathia, uh, short upper lip, abnormal shaped ear, frontal bossing, and clover leaf skull. In spine, we need to rule out relative length, uh, total length and curvature, mineralization of vertebral bodies and neural arches. In our cases, the following findings were noted. Binder syndrome, which is also known as maxillonasal dysplasia, uh, is a rare congenital condition which develops in the first trimester of pregnancy and is, char and, uh, and, uh, is characterized by uh, facial uh, facial features some of these include uh, erinoid face shortened nose with depressed nasal bridge flat faces intermaxillary hypoplasia nasal mucosa atrophy anterior nasal spine agenesis a convex upper lip under development of frontal sinuses and anomalies of cervical spine binder syndrome is phenotype with several causes amongst which most important is important is chondrodysplasia punctata in some cases of binder syndrome only facial features are present while in others full clinical picture of x link brachy tele telephalangic chondrodysplasia punctata is seen Chondrodysplasia punctata. This includes various group of disorders in which calcific stippling of cartilage and periarticular soft tissue is seen. It is of two types, rhizomelic and non-rhizomelic type. It has very poor prognosis. Some radiological features are very short uh, humerus and relatively short femur with some metaphyseal uh, splaying. Facial features include flat face and small saddle nose. Ascites and polyhydromnios may also be seen. In our case, the uh, following finding was seen on uh, genetic find uh, genetic testing. It was the disease was diagnosed as chondrodysplasia punctata. Inheritance was x link dominant. Uh, zygosity was hetero uh, heterozygous or hemi hemizygous. Some common skeletal dysplasias and their salient antenatal radiological features include first, achondroplasia, which includes short femur length, often less than 5th percentile, trident shaped hand, frontal bossing, depressed nasal bone. Uh, telling, uh, thanatotrophic dysplasia includes short, thick, bowed bones, especially of the lower extremities, thickened, shof, uh, thickened soft tissue ex of extremities, narrow thoracic cavity, comparatively large head with uh, frontal bossing, and uh, clover, uh, clover leaf skull may also be seen. In osteogenesis imperfecta, decreased calvarial 
ossification fracture which may result in shortening or angulation of the long bones and polyhydramnios are seen uh, chondro uh, achondrogenesis uh, includes micromelia floating head appearance may be seen micrognathia and macrocephaly can be seen these are the references thank you